Okay, we're gonna try to be louder than Doro, who is um, who just started her show behind us. But I'm here with enslaved, Gurtu, yeah, nice, and Eva. Nice try. Yes. Yeah. How how do I pronounce it? Gurtla. Gurtla. Oh, that's good. Gurtla. Yeah. And we just figured out that it actually means rock. Yeah. yeah. This is something that I should share before we start. Hard rock, actually. actually. Hard rock. <laughs> <laughs> what does Ivan mean? Uh, spare. Really? I didn't know that. Spear and rock, yeah. They're pretty rough together. Yes. Yep. <laughs> if I if I um, if I understand correctly, you actually fell on him when you first met each other. Oh, yeah, we did. Can you tell us what happened? Uh, it, it was a concert. Uh, one of the few concerts. It wasn't not even in our uh, communities. It was like a, a place in the nearest town because this was uh, you know in the 80s and you know. There were not many metal concerts in Norway at all. Uh, it was like non-alcoholic and shit. It was like, you know, all ages. Yeah. It was 1989. 16th, 16th of April, actually. You remember the date? Yeah, yeah I do. Because How I come? The, I have the poster, I think, at home. So oh, well, actually, uh, I, I was a big fan of the band. The, the, the main, um, the headliner it was, it was a band called Arch. Uh -huh. Great Norwegian heavy trash band. And during the set of their opening band, a band called Witchhammer from the same um, town, they were like, there was stage diving and head banging and shit, and I was stage diving and landed on top of his head. And you were very young at the time, right? Yeah, I was uh, 11 or 12. So how does an 11 or 12 year old kid end up on this show? Uh, I was very lucky because my dad was living down the street. Okay. Uh, he already had a really positive uh, impression of metroculture because mm -hmm. uh, he, he took me and a couple of my friends to an anthrax and suicidal tendencies show in, uh, in Oslo. Uh, it was so loud and there was really a lot of movement. He got nervous and all these like older guys took care of us. They right. went like, hey, there's some kids there, right. watch out. Right. And he was so impressed by that, that he pretty much gave me, uh, allowed me to do anything with metal shows after that. concept of metal is still still very solid and I think it's you know I talk to I have some friends that are teachers and they all say the same that that these kids who get into the metal culture sometimes they do it because they're you know angry or whatever but uh, at the end of the day it's always the same it's a very positive message you are accepted because you like the music mm -hmm. and you're part of the as long as you contribute with liking the music or making the music or writing about the music, you know, like you guys in the media do, it's uh, everybody has their role. Mm -hmm. It's not about, you know, having the most expensive uh, outfit or all these crazy, horrible things that are going on with kids today. So I think metal is probably one of the best things that can happen to your kids. So you took over your father's philosophy a little bit. Probably. Scary, okay. but yes. <laughs> Brotherhood as well has uh, you know spent so much time. Do you still sometimes sit down and kind of reflect on like this is a, a, a lucky situation that we're in? This is a fateful thing that happened. Fateful in the sense of like something that was supposed to happen. Yeah, totally. I mean, uh, sometimes it, it feels like uh, on occasions. I mean, of course, playing a lot of gigs. We played a lot of gigs together uh, for so many years, but um, it's sometimes still. 
sometimes in the rehearsal place, sometimes uh, on the stage, it still feels like 1992. You know, like we met like two weeks ago, sometimes. And I think that that's got to be a good sign. You know? uh, I think that's uh, why we have done it for like, uh, played together since 1990. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's like 27 years and we sli still like to, you know, uh, release the energy on stage. Uh -huh. But Ivan seems very easy to get along with. Is that true? No. Pretty annoying, to be honest. It's not? Uh, me neither. No. <laughs> what, fucking assholes, you know? <laughs> I, I love, by the way, that you have this Ramones shirt on. And, and I love in your music as well, in slave music, it, it has all those, you know, such a wide spectrum of, of different influences, which, which really makes it very interesting. Uh, so well done. I'm, I'm, oh, I think it's great. Um, I know that uh, in times is a little while ago. Are you guys uh, thinking about sitting down and philosophizing about something again uh, soon, or...? We're actually really close to a new album. Okay, It's great. coming out in uh, October, October 13th. It's called E. More of the runic E, Evas, or uh, energy, or... Okay. In Times was about the physics of actual time, which is uh, still hurting my head <laughs> to think about. But now we're talking about dualities. It's like a collaboration between order and chaos. Welcome to the place that is not as the How do you decide on these themes? Like, do you get together and say, okay, now we're gonna sit down and think about, you know, the theme is duality, and we're gonna think about that, or how, how does that work? Exactly. Yeah? That's what we do. You know, we, we send text messages, or have a phone conversation, or a few beers and start talking, or just like in the rehearsal room. It starts that is with, a, you know, just, just an idea, and then we elaborate the idea, and suddenly it's a concept. Cool. It's like, wow, let's go for it, you know? You don't go out into this beautiful Nor Nordic, how do you say, Norwegian, yeah, nature and... Oh, we do that, I, mean, I, I do that all the time, you know? Yeah? I just came back from that beautiful nature and got like nine million mosquitoes things up north. <laughs> right. So we do it all the time, but that as well, I mean, and, and we constantly gather inspiration and when we eventually just sit down, we have like obtained all that information we need. That's what we do. I, I want to be a part of it. How do I inscribe myself for this field trip? Just uh, sit down with a couple of runes for a weekend, inhale some sacred plants, go with the flow, and you'll be there. That's fantastic. <laughs>